Welcome back. If you guys remember from our last video, we were working on the tailgate. We've got it all painted. I mean, this thing looks incredible. And with all the paint work done, now we're going to start moving on to the bed um, and the custom running board that we did. So we've got Chris, our master carpenter here. He's going to explain a little bit about what we did to finish out this project. So what did you start with as far as the woodworking? All right, well, uh, there are several steps here. Step one would be to decide what kind of wood that you're going to use for your project. We chose white oak for its durability and for its extensive use in outdoor projects, so it's going to hold up well. Okay, so after you chose the wood, right. um, what was the first step you did from there? After we chose the wood, then we needed to get measurements. We had to do a layout of the bed of the truck because we have stainless steel strips going in between each uh, board. So you have to lay it out so everything fits perfectly. That's the same way with the running boards too. The running boards, we had to uh, uh, make templates to follow the, the contour of the body of the truck. And then after that was done, we transferred it over to the white oak, cut it out, and then we routed out three quarter inch strips to uh, accept the, stain, the polished stainless steel strips that were gonna go into it. So when it's all done with, this, the running boards are gonna complement the bed of the truck with the stainless steel. Nice. Um, so you've got the wood chose. We know you're gonna put the stainless in. What was the steps you had to take to get the wood um, to be able to put it in the truck? Right, the next step after that would be to uh, take the wood back into the shop and do what's called uh, milling of the wood. So we had to mill it to the specifications to accept the stainless steel, and so we used a, a joiner to, to uh, actually uh, make the board straight. And then once you have one side of it straight, then you run it through the table saw and uh, get your final dimension of, of your finished piece of wood. After that, you have to um, route out um, two rabbits on each side of the uh, board to uh, accept the stainless steel. Okay, so you get the layout done. Right. Then you have to stain it. I noticed the stain you picked is going to complement the green of the truck and the interior that we went with. So what did you have to do to stain the wood? Okay, well, after you mill it out and you pre-fit it in the truck and everything looks great, then you have to sand it. We used uh, gator sandpaper to um, sand this down. I started out with 120 grit and I finished up with 220. You don't want to go any further than 220 on a stain project because you risk the stain not uh, taking to the wood. Okay. Now another thing that uh, you, had, me and you had talked about was dry times. Tell me the importance of that when right. you're doing these projects. Right. Each, each manufacturer of the product that, that you use has a dry time and you need to respect that dry time because if you don't you run the risk of really messing up your project because uh, most products need to be sanded in, in between coats and if you don't wait long enough to get uh, your product dry, you're just going to gum up your sandpaper and it's going to ruin the whole project. Okay, so you've got it sanded, you've got it stained. What type of top coat did you go with? Right, we chose a <coughs> marine grade uh, urethane varnish. And that urethane varnish is, is designed for uh, wood products outdoors. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold up very well. We used four coats on it. We did bottoms, tops, sides. We totally en encapsulated the wood so none of the elements of weather can get to it. Wow. I'm looking at the back of this truck and I'll tell you what, you did an awesome job. The running boards turned out great. The bed looks great. The color that you picked for the stain complements the color of the paint. You couldn't have done a better job. Thank you. Now, join us next week and we're going to wrap up these videos, show you guys what the project, the, the finished truck looks like, and then we're going to take this baby for a ride. So join us next week. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or follow our blog on GoFinishFirst.com.